Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I am here with review number one for my October Horrorthon where I'm going to, the plan is to do a review at least every second day um, I may do them a bit more often throughout the month just depending how many movies that I actually get time to sit down and my schedule and all that but uh, yeah the main plan is to at least have a review up every second day and because it's day one of October, I definitely wanted to um, get things rolling. And uh, we're going to start with The Devil's Candy. So I've just finished watching this. And I wanted to um, do this review while it's pretty fresh in my mind. So Devil's Candy is a movie that I'm sure most of you are at least familiar with the name. It's been getting quite a lot of hype and buzz here on YouTube. It's uh, just come out. Um... I think it actually got made in 2015, but it's only actually just got a release um, recently this year. So, um, yeah, a lot of hype surrounding it. I was definitely very curious to check this one out, um, just to see what I thought of it. So, uh, this one's actually kind of tricky to uh, talk about plot-wise without completely doing a lot of spoilers, which I do not want to do. So I'm going to kind of keep the plot synopsis to a minimum and then move on to what I thought of the film. So this essentially is a um, demonic style movie and it centers around a family of three, Jesse the father who's an artist, the daughter and the mother. They move into an old house, um, something pretty bad's happened in the old house before they're aware of this, they get told about it before moving in. And um, essentially there's only one old resident still around. He ends up coming back to the house and essentially demands the new owners to let him move back in. And it pretty much all goes downhill for the family from there. So that's kind of as much as I want to give away plot wise without um, spoiling it too much more. Um, so yeah, this movie I thought was absolutely fantastic and I thought it definitely lived up to the hype that it's been getting and I came away enjoying this movie a lot more than I was expecting to. I didn't really know what to think um, or what I would think of it going into it but um, what a great film. Extremely short movie though. It only ran for just over an hour and ten minutes so very very quick um, but I was surprised. Um, at no point did I feel the movie was rushed, um, especially the ending. The ending didn't feel rushed at all, which uh, kind of surprised me considering this movie was so short. And um, all the characters were developed extremely well. I mean, there's only really four major characters within this movie. Ray, who's the main villain, and then the family of three. And of course there's some side characters that pop up here and there throughout the movie just to help the story progress. But essentially there's only really the four major characters that this movie centers around. Um, fantastic metal backdrop um, to the film. Uh, there's a lot of great metal soundtrack played throughout the film. And um, the father and the daughter, Jesse the father and the daughter especially are big metal fans um, and it also plays a pretty big role with Ray as well um, so yeah fantastic metal backdrop if you're a metal head um, I definitely think that you're going to enjoy this movie quite a lot um, it wasn't overdone it was blended in nicely with the um, character development and horror um, themes as well I thought this movie was really really well balanced actually so there wasn't really anything that kind of dominated the film. I just thought everything worked really, really well, uh, which again kind of surprised me. So, yeah, I thought this movie was absolutely fantastic. Um, Character-wise, Ray definitely took it out for me. He was creepy as hell. I don't think I've ever been genuinely um, chilled and creeped out by a horror villain, like a real-life horror villain. Um since McTaylor from Wolf Creek. Ray was just absolutely fantastic. Um, very, very creepy pretty much all the time that he was on screen. There was one extremely creepy moment that really got to me when he actually returned back to the house and went into someone's bedroom. 
um, that genuinely freaked me out. So, yeah, he was great. Um, the father was really, really good as well. He was probably the other main character, I guess, next to uh, Ray. And, uh, yeah, just seeing his um, character progress throughout the movie. He was an artist and his paintings had a lot to do with the storyline as well. So he was great. Um, the daughter was really, really good as well. Um, especially during the ending scenes of the, of the film. She was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, the mum was good as well. Um, she kind of took a bit of a um, back step to the other three characters, I guess. But um, she was really good as well. So yeah, essentially the major characters were all good. There wasn't really a bad character. And overall, I just thought this movie was um, really, really well balanced. And despite its short running time, it never felt rushed. And um, yeah, it was fantastic from start to finish. So obviously, um, from my thoughts of this movie, I do highly, highly recommend it. Um, definitely one of the better modern horror movies that I have seen recently. And um, yeah, there's not really a bad thing to say about this film. Um, I will quickly mention, if you are a big fan of Metallica, there's a nice little nod to you guys during the end credits. Um, a popular Metallica song is played during the ending credits. So if you are a Metallica fan, don't stop the movie once it's done. Make sure you uh, watch through the credits. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that pretty much concludes my review of Devil's Candy. I thought it was a fantastic movie and... Yeah, I highly recommend this one. So if you've never seen it, go out and check it out. If you've seen it, let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. Anyway, that pretty much does it for my review of Devil's Candy. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until my next review, thank you for watching.